All right, let's start another one. That last one was easy. So, of course, this one is going to be a little bit more challenging. This one is called Entwine by Elena Hadjavina. Hadjavina. I just butchered your name. Elena, I am so sorry. I don't know. Read it yourself, folks. I don't know how to say that. I'm so, so sorry. I feel bad. Oops, that is not, what the heck? What did it do that for? Oh, goodness sakes. I'm losing my spot. Okay, so in case you ever lose where you're at, you're at patterncollections.com and you're under pattern focus. I'm just using the website. I'm not doing anything special. And on the pattern focus website is the daily patterns. And today is Entwine, and there we go. I don't know why it just did what it did, but you know, phones do what they do. <sighs> I'm not a phone expert. Okay, so step one, you're gonna want these little rice shapes in a row, however long your row is gonna be. I may make a bit of a pencil just to give me a, an even row. So you do sets of rice shapes all along and then color them in and do this sort of S shape from the top one to the next one down over. So you're not connecting this one to this one, you're connecting this one to this one. Got it? Okay, then comes the hard part. Then from the bottom one, you're not coming up here. You're going to here. You're skipping this one. So you're going from here to here. But you have to go under. That's confusing. Okay, so I'm gonna do it from the last one and work my way backwards because I want to not do that. So I want to go here and then pretend like this would be under and go here. Pretend like this would be under and go here. And the same thing on the other one. You're going to go this way, this way, and then pretend this goes under and go this way. Pretend this goes under and go this way. Pretend that goes under and go that way. So. That's gonna be a challenge to think about. This is what it's gonna look like when we're done. If we do it right. Oh, I have no idea how I'm gonna end the ends. That's how they end the ends. I might end the ends differently. We're just gonna do one set across the tile in a... I'm just going to like this I'm gonna go like this I don't know what I'm gonna do with the ends I might just tuck them under under my frame so maybe I won't have to worry about ends I'll put a frame might just do that Okay, we're going to start with one that just kind of meanders across the tile like this and see what happens. All right, we're going to do, I'm going to start in the middle and work my way to both ends. Little rice shape, little rice shape, there's going to be a, a pair of them. And then move down and do it again. Rice shape and a rice shape in a pair. And move down and do it again. Rice shape, rice shape, and like that. And like that. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to do this shape, 
They look like watermelon seeds. Probably because my rice shapes aren't very ricey like they have a round end and a pointy end, but oh well. Oops. Well, it's a good thing we're coloring in the middle, isn't it? And like that. And one that would go here. Okay. Oh, you can't see. I'm sorry. All right. Try to stay on the page, Don. Okay, so. Step one. We're going to go from one end of run rice shape to the beginning of not this one but this one so like this this is the easy part I can, I can do this it's the next step that I might have troubles with Okay, so far so good, right? Now, I want to connect This is coming around to here. No. Okay, I have to look at it very, very carefully. Before I actually draw it, I'm going to think about it. Goes over that one to this one. Yes. Okay. And then this one comes out of here. Goes over that one to that one. Comes out of this rice shape, would come out here, goes over and to that one. So it would come out of here, over to that one, and out of here, and over to this one, and out of here, and over to this one, and would come out of here, and over to that one. Look at that. Wasn't as hard as I thought. Now we're going to go the other way. So it'll come out of somewhere and around to this one. And then this one will come out of here and around to that one. And out of here and around to that one. Out of, out of here. Oops. Pen didn't write. I wasn't at the right angle for my pen. Comes out of here and around to that one. Comes out of here and around to that one. Comes out of here and around to that one. Well, this wasn't near as hard as it looked. I am happy with that. Absolutely overjoyed, as a matter of fact. So much so that I think I need to draw another one. Do I need it to go underneath? Or do I want it to come across the top? I mean, next to it, coming out like from here. I think maybe that's what I want to do. <coughs> Pardon me. Ugh, I apologize for that. Wow. That just. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so these are really kind of skinny. And the. Sample shows it a little bit bigger, but why? Is it because my rice shapes are too far apart, I think? Well, let's try it a little bit different. I'm going to do it coming like here. And like here. And I'm going to try doing my rice shapes a little bit closer together this time, I think.
and that would be behind. Right? Right. Okay. So then this one goes to that one. And this one goes to this one. This one goes to this one. So far, so good. And I feel like you would see part of that one, even though you don't see it. <coughs> okay, so this one comes around and it connects to here. So when we come here and connect to there, and this one will come here and connect to there. And this one will come here and connect to there. And this one will come. And go that way. Well, that's what I'm missing here. Okay. And on this side, I'm missing it here. Okay. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Not as hard as I thought it would be. Comes out here and goes to there. Comes out here and goes to there. Comes out here and goes to there. Comes out here and goes somewhere over in there. All right. Little rice shapes aren't dark enough. Or I've got just a glare. Or it could just be a glare. I think it's just a glare. Okay. So now I'm going to get even more tricky here and put one more going this way, I think. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Do it this way. No, I'm not going to do it that way. Well, I could. Oh, that didn't work. Ah! Fuck. Oh well. Oh, bother. I didn't do that right. Okay, so since I did that this way. Oh no, that's all right. That's all right. That's that's okay. It's just this one. It's okay. I can I can I can deal with that. All right. So comes out there and goes this way. Comes out here and goes this way. Comes out of here and goes this way. Out of there like that. And 
Uh, there it goes. Comes out of there. It goes like that. Comes out of there and goes like that. I just have one oddball. Not in my. I thought I knotted it. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Now we just need some shading and the name, which was, what was it, Entwine? I-N-T-W-I-N-E. lines we're going to shade okay what's attached to what this has a shadow right here and this one's just kind of fun funky doodle I had some issues but oh, that's okay Okay, blendy blendy. Oops, I was gonna make a pencil frame. Like that. Okay, now blendy blendy. Well, that wasn't near as hard as I thought it was going to be. See? You need to just be bold and do it anyway. Because I thought it was going to be much harder. And I see where I'm going to need to do some other blendy that I didn't think of when I first put my pencil down. But I'll do these first. You guys see where I forgot to, to shade? You see it? Right here where the arms go. Right there. 
These little arm pieces need to be shaded where they tuck under. I missed it. Doesn't need much, but it needs something or it will look funny. I think I'm just going to use my little one so that I don't overdo. See how that makes a difference? I don't know if you can tell, but I can. Just a teeny tiny bit. There we go. Perfect. Entwine. That wasn't near as hard as I thought it would be. I thought this was going to be like a 40 minute video, but it's not. I'm excited. All right. You guys go out and have a great day. This has been a good week so far. I'm getting a lot accomplished today. I'm so excited. You guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.